watch some stuff. Yeah. Uh, we watched several things. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> with my alien eyes, I did that. I watched some things. <laughs> so. Why do you have to specify that it's alien eyes? No, I'm just kidding. They're normal. Look, look with your alien eyes. Look at me with your human eyes. Why are you talking to these people? We're supposed to be in love. Whatever, <laughs> fine. I'm going to leave this planet. Uh, and you. No, don't leave me. Ugh. We're in love. Are um, we? Are we? Yeah. We're not. <laughs> um, so, we watched several things. We started watching, uh, I always forget the name of it, like In Her Skin or something. Oh. Scarlett Johansson. Yes. And it was weird. It was really artistic, and we were just, like, we're kind of exhausted after the last two episodes that we were just, like, I can't dedicate the mental and emotional energy to dissecting what this is saying. So instead, I put on Earth Girls Are Easy. Yeah, we were fun. like, oh, this is a whole time. Yeah. We're going to have to, like, read articles wondering yeah. what this means. Just to figure it out. Just to figure out why we watched it. Yeah. Um, I'm happy we didn't do that. We've... Quickly put on Earth Girls Are Easy. It yeah. was just a grand old no, time. No, we got through. Like, I think we only had, like, 30 minutes left. Oh, yeah. No, we did. You're right. <laughs> so, I mean, we, we, we could always hour. revisit. Um, but I was, uh, yeah, I put on Earth Girls Are Easy because it's fun. It it's from fun. 1988, and it's directed by Julian Temple. And I will tell you what it's about. In this musical comedy, Valerie is dealing with her philandering fiancé, Ted, when she finds that a trio of aliens have crashed their spaceship into her swimming pool. Once the furry beings are shaved at a girlfriend's salon, the women discover three handsome men underneath. After absorbing the native culture via television, the spacemen are ready to hit the dating scene in 1980s Los Angeles. Which is what's happening right now. So, uh, are you telling me that if I just, like, Mulan... And wipe your wipe It'll your all body. be gone and I'll just be gorgeous. Yeah. You'll be uh you'll be Jeff Goldblum. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Who is real fine in this movie. Oh yeah, no, they he's, really he's, they turned it fat. up. They've mm-hmm. turned up the dial on, on him. Yeah. And that in those scenes. It also has Jim Carrey uh-huh. and Damon Wayans. Yeah. So it's super fun. One of my favorite lines is like they are all getting turned into people. And when Damon comes out, he says, Oh, oh my God, God, you're like totally black. Because that's what the girl said. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's like, of course, they don't know. He was orange or something before that. Yeah, he was one of those <laughs> yeah. like, really wacky colors. Yeah. Just like blue, red, and orange, I think. Yeah. And it was like, Jim Carrey's like a little baby in it. Mm-hmm. He's very little. He's and very he's just young. goofy. And he does goofy. They say weird sounds or like, Lorp. <laughs> Oh, you no, know, they, they can mimic uh, sounds that they hear, and yeah. then they, like, use that as a way of communicating. Mm-hmm. And we a lot of the songs were from the Valley Girl friend who did the makeup and stuff. Mm, yeah. It was a lot of her, like, I'm blonde, and it's fun. Um, yeah. It was a fun time. Yeah. It was interesting. I won't have a lot to dive into it, but it happened. I enjoyed it. it I will say this. I've always misunderstood the 80s as someone who was born in the 90s. I always thought it was just really crazy. Yeah. Like, ridiculous. I was like, why the top, is it like this? Like, and I, and I never really loved those, like, classic 80s movies that everyone loved. Mm-hmm. And then I watched this, and there's all this, like, costume jewelry, and there's all this, like, over-the-top, like, yeah. everything was, like, like, a comically large thing version of something else or it to me it, it looked like like if you went to a gift shop and there's like this weird like a big shoe or something like that, <laughs> and that's what people's like houses were or like their yeah. phone was a hamburger Fashion. Yeah. yeah it was just, and it was like whatever you find like there's like a scene that i love where they're like oh my god i love your earrings and she like shows them and it's just cut up like um american and express cards and she's yeah. like thanks they're my dad's and i was like that's <laughs> exactly like i've seen like another film completely different where it was like someone had like a fork and like a spoon in their yeah. ear and they're like oh my god where'd you get it like the kitchen like it was literally like you found stuff you repurposed it to make weird costume jewelry and you had a lot of fun so yeah. i enjoy it from that standpoint where it, it 
it I feel like I now understand. Yeah. You're like, oh, the, it was just and a I weird love fun the time. 80s now because I'm like, it sounds really fun. Yeah. Like everyone was just doing some wacky. It was bad for the environment because of all the plastic and all of the hairspray. But <laughs> but everyone's hair was permed. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Everyone embraced their curls, which is nice. Yeah. Which is why I love how my hair looks right now. Uh but yeah, it the film is cute. But it's not, I wouldn't say it's like a 100% like a romance either. It's just kind of fun. Well, uh, she, it's okay, absurd. Spoilers. She yeah. runs away with him. She's yeah. like, ew, my, my fiance is the worst. Well, she was going to marry him. I know. And, then, really and then he did his little like, his, his like sex tingles, which is his powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can like make people feel like sexually attracted or excited mm -hmm. which is like of course the alien can do that right yeah. that's what they do and so he did it to them and they were making out but then she like realized like it wasn't working on her and that's mm -hmm. when she's like it didn't work no I love you and then she went with him yeah so it was like yeah and they had a really romantic scene and uh, <laughs> where she's just like what if our parts don't work and then he just like is naked like off screen she's like oh never mind <laughs> <laughs> no worries it's, it's like, totally come fine come on in <laughs> get inside <laughs> and it's like what else would you say Jeff Goldblum yeah, I mean, he's he like, was, I'm on it. He was he's really, on everyone's list. He was really... Mm -mm. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, thank you, thank Jeff. You. That was really good. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, but we watched You're other beautiful stuff. beautiful times. Yeah, we did. We did watch other stuff. Um, specifically two things, but I'm going to talk about one of them. Okay. Um, we watched Freaks of Nature, uh, directed by Robbie Pickering. It's from 2015. It was a, also a time. <laughs> um, vampires, humans, and zombies used to get along in Dilford. But then something unexpected arrived. And now it's humans versus vampires versus zombies in an all-out mortal combat. It's up to three teenagers, of course, uh, to try to get things back to normal. Yeah. I read that and I was like, I 100% want to watch this. Mm -hmm. And it's so absurd and so silly that it was, like, perfect. And it also goes back to, like, that thing you were saying uh, last episode where you're like... Basically, if way, it would be so cool if aliens came, yeah, because then we, we could have something unite new to be prejudiced against, yeah, and unite and be prejudiced against that instead mm -hmm. of being yeah. all divided and hating on each other, yeah, which is ultimately what happened in this movie. Like, they did coexist, but they didn't like each other, and then they arrived and like chaos ensued, and then mm -hmm. they like happily coexisted after that, yeah. And the aliens were like chill and they just wanted like to get some plastic or something it was like something they went to something ridiculous like dumb wouldn't impact the humans at all yes it was like we had to lock y'all up because you were all killing each other <laughs> yeah because you just lost your mind yeah i would say there's a lot of it's it was unexpectedly really charming mm -hmm. and like uh there was a lot of like lines that were said and like they, like it's just very deadpan it's yeah. very like like an instant classic and like um, it's silly, and it definitely isn't taking itself too seriously, which is fun. And it does these absurd things um, where, like, a very serious conversation will be happening while someone's being, like, devoured. Yeah. Um, and then also, like, it makes fun of all those, like, tropes of, like, vampires and, and zombies and all that. Mm -hmm. Like, one of the cutest things is, is, like, the nerdy kid who's, like, super smart, all the zombies want to get with him because he has a big brain. <laughs> he's got the brain. They want to eat his brain. Yeah. And I thought, I was like, when that clicked for me, because I was mm -hmm. like, why are all the zombies on him? And I was like, because his brain. He's a smart boy. And I was like, right, and brains. And I, I love that. I thought that was cute. So there's all those little subtleties and mm -hmm. like uh, the Edward Cullen looking character. Um, Vanessa the Hudgens worst. is in it. And she yeah. was doing her own thing. Yeah, she was fun. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, and it was like, it was, I wasn't expecting it to be as charming. Um, or engaging as it was. I, I thought like, it was, up the whole time. I was like, yeah. I, I honestly thought it was going to be, like, one of those, like, Walmart dollar, dollar movies. Dollar bins, yeah. I was like, this is going to be crazy. It's going to be really <laughs> weird. And then it was really great. It was, like, hilarious. Yeah. I genuinely enjoyed it. I was like, oh, wow. All yeah. right. Come on, movies. This is a second random win in terms of just outright ridiculousness that I'm really happy we watched instead of, like, sad stuff. Yeah. So. Which was nice and refreshing. Which we we did watch something that was a little more serious. For sure. But it yeah. was still fun because mm -hmm. it was very action packed and it wasn't super like high budget Michael Bay or like Independence Day. I don't know. I did Michael Bay. Did that. 
I don't um, know who directed it, but Will it. Smith's on that. Yeah, but like, you know, the big, you know, blockbuster type yeah. horror movies or alien movies, this was like, you know, it, it, it definitely feels low budget and definitely feels like it was just weighing on the, the or leaning on the characters mm-hmm. heavily, and that became beautiful. It was beautiful. So yeah. what we're talking about is Attack the Block, which is from 2011, directed by Joe Cornish. Uh, South London teenagers defend their neighborhood from malevolent extraterrestrials, which is, like, such a little baby version of what it is. Yeah. Um, it's a group of kids in uh, London who come from, like, the lower class neighborhoods mm-hmm. and live in like a block, which is like, uh, like a housing unit that just has a bunch of people who have the same income bracket, mm-hmm. <laughs> essentially. And they're just a bunch of like little like hoodlum kids mm-hmm. who are getting up to no good because that's what they do. Um, and then aliens are there. Yeah. But of course, the aliens uh, aren't just aliens. Like as far as like when you're reading into it, which is like I can dive into. Um, but. I really, really enjoyed it. It has John Boyega in it. He's mm-hmm. a baby. Yeah, he was really young. I was like, wow. He did such a great job. Yeah, he was a fantastic he actor. Minimal even just words. Young. Yeah. And it, I was, like, compelled every time he was on screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nick Frost is in it, and he's just, like, awkward. But he, even he, like, every time he's there, it's, like, nice to have him. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, it's quick, like, honestly was, like, instantly a favorite. Like, it's, well, yeah, because like, you have this, like, alien invasion thing happening, and there's this whole... Uh, extra commentary about, like, society and, like, issues with police and then mm-hmm. also issues with, like, classism and all this other stuff happening, like, all layered in between, like, these brutal fur glow murder aliens killing all these people. Mm-hmm. So it was, like, this really interesting, like, social commentary while also aliens are happening. Yeah. yeah. Which leads us into my section. Gabe, say words. Yes. So, yeah. Um, there's a, so there's a lot. So I wanted it to be um, like more relaxed. And I, every time I just I'm always like, oh, I'm only gonna have like two things to say. <laughs> I'll just like find a thing. Like, oh, what am I gonna talk about? I'll just talk about like a thing or two. Um, and then I start writing, and I'm like, oh yeah. Aliens mean so much things. Everything means everything all the time. So. Uh, <laughs> We have discussed previously how aliens represent different things Mm -hmm. um, or the based on like the goals that they have in the time period in which the films are created. Yeah. They represent certain things, um, which is just like normal. Right. Uh, So like in the past, we've talked about uh, real aliens or Mm -hmm. like people who had real aliens and how those are like romance like, that was definitely a romance-heavy episode. Because yeah. it was, like, people being abducted and finding their alien, uh, pe- like, abductee uh, partners. Because he had his wife, but he also had his side wife. He yeah. was an alien wife, and they had alien kids. Yeah. And then there was a guy who painted all those pictures of his alien love, who was, like, had beautiful breasts. <laughs> that was the time. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we've definitely done alien love before. Um, and, and historically, there's usually like three or four motives that an alien has yeah. when it comes here. Uh, one is that like their own planet is in trouble and they need to come to Earth either for a resource mm-hmm. or uh, to repopulate. And yeah. use like human alien hybrids to do that. Yeah, so or like, like us as ladies. incubators. Yeah. Too. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, we were just like, now you're us. Uh, which was like the faculty mm-hmm. that happened. Even Chicken Little, they yeah. came for resources. Acorns. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers for the end of the movie. They wanted those acorns. <laughs> yeah, the, that They badly. wanted the thing we don't, we they don't have, have yeah. but we do have it. Which is the same for um, Freaks in, uh, of Nature. Mm-hmm. That was like their thing too. So it's like they need something here that only we have, and sometimes that's like fertile women. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so a lot of like 1950s uh, films were like men, like alien men, just like either wooing or taking women because like yeah. that's what happened back then. Uh, there's other ones where they're like more intelligent than us and they come here um, in like attack mode yeah. to destroy us before we can get smart enough to go and destroy them because we are a threat. Yeah. Um, so sometimes it's like one lonely like one person is sent here uh to um check it out or like be like mm-hmm. i'll find Scout. that one person you know yeah uh i forget his name it's the one with keanu reeves uh with uh uh the day the earth stood still okay i forget it's like something i forget his name 
but he has like an alien name. Yeah. But his whole thing was like he came here to prove like that people were worth saving and then people were awful. Yeah. It's just always like, oh, you did this. It adds you up, did this, I mean. you know, um, which is like, OK, we get it. It's we've morality tale. <laughs> yes. Um, or sometimes like we're just in a science experiment. Like yeah. if you think about like more of the documentaries and like what people claim are actually happening. And a lot of the times it's just like they're picking us up to poke us mm-hmm. and see like, what does this button do? Yeah. Um, and just to mess with us, which is like, I feel like that's a lot. There's like so much work to get all the way over here to just like mess with us. Yeah, that seems weird. seems lazy. Seems less likely than the other two, um, and uh, like we talked about, you know, some of these points in our uh, alien imposters as well mm-hmm. as like the faculty like and taking stuff. taking us over and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like wanting a new life, I guess. Yeah, or not new life, but like starting over and using people to do that. Yeah. Uh, but I want to talk more about funnier things uh, because that's uh, what we decided to do. Uh, I will say that it's not all just fun. I will get a little serious because that's how I work. Um, but <laughs> yeah, because I, I did find some deeper meaning, even in Freaks of Nature. Mm-hmm. I will say I don't find much deeper meaning in Earth Girls Are Easy. It is really just fun. I think it was, yeah, face value, just like a good time mm-hmm. where it's like, oh, if a hot alien guy came... Yeah. He would Earth definitely are win. Or no, I thought that he would win. Yeah. He'd be better than the crappy human Earth guy. Earth humans. Yeah. Lame. Especially if it looked like Jeff Goldblum. Exactly. Um, but I'll start with Freaks of Nature. Uh, and it, we stumbled on it because we were looking at different ones. And there was this other film I can't remember the name of. And I couldn't find it. That was very similar to Earth Girls Are Easy. Mm-hmm. And then I just gave up. And I saw this. And I was like, well, I really want to do it. And, and the reason was... Uh, because of what you had mentioned that I had mentioned before, <laughs> which was essentially like this idea that if there were aliens, that now we have this new mutual enemy mm-hmm. and we can put aside our differences because we're all humans Unite after all. Again. Yes. We are all humans yeah. of different colors and backgrounds and whatever, but we're mm-hmm. humans, right? And so now we have this new enemy and it's an alien. Yeah. Right. Um, which is funny because uh, there's a we didn't get to watch it, but I was talking about this episode to a friend, uh, Vanessa, and she was like, oh, did you watch this movie on Netflix? And it's like the time of extinction or something like that. And mm. it's literally so this is going to be spoilers for that film, but it's two of our episodes put together. So it's last week's episode of this one okay. where it's like this alien invasion and they're all running and they're scared and there's these scary like scary ships and they come out in mm-hmm. their suits and then they at the end there's like a reveal where they open up their things and it's kind of like um Planet of the Apes type okay. where they open it and then it turned out it was people yeah. That had left Earth because they messed it up and they left behind their clones. So the clones oh. were the protagonists that we were following and that the antagonists were just our regular people. To take their cl- organs? To like, just, yeah, they're coming back to just take everything. Like wow. they want their Earth back after leaving their clones behind. And they don't know because it's been like generations and mm-hmm. yeah. It was wild. Wow. And I was like, what? That sounds cool. And I'm sad we didn't do it. That is a really good cool. Mesh, right? I want to watch mesh. that now. Uh, but I just like the idea that like we all rally together Independence Day style where it's just like, we're mm-hmm. Americans now. We're going to like, we're all Americans or something. I don't well, know. Well, that's why they say like war is a great uniter with like you're having a lot of on the ground issues. Yeah. It's just the same idea. Yeah, is that we you just will, need a common enemy. We will rally. And, like, governments will do that intentionally so that... People come to together. To get the populace to fall in line, essentially. Yeah, but I think, like, the thing about this film... So, what I thought was interesting was, um, you know, that they kind of advertise it like, oh, we all got along ahead of time. Yeah. And then the alien showed up and everything was wrong. But the thing was like they didn't really get along. They weren't mm-hmm. attacking each other, but it was kind of like a world where it's like we don't see color type thing. Yeah. Where it was more about like uh we just kind of existed near each other. Yeah. But, but clearly separate. there was a lot of like like, you know, harboring of like resentment and anger towards people because yeah. that's it just took one incident to boil up. So they were all just kind of like coexisting reluctantly because they had to. And so it really did take, you know, like literally that's the whole plot is like mm-hmm. now they're stuck together and they're even like blocked off from each other because they're so angry with one another. But as soon as they start banding together and yeah. using their like powers for good, uh, then they can rise up against it. Mm-hmm. But one of my favorite parts of this is that we have this cliche scene where 
where the uh, alien is just like, I only came here for the riblets, which is like uh, this like gross kind of like McRib type sandwich they have, which is made of clearly fake and altered meat. Yeah. Uh, and the zombie who <laughs> has the most brains uh, is the one who's just like, you guys are idiots. It's just chemicals and it's bad for you. And of course, these aliens want it. And um, he does this whole lecture, like the alien does this big lecture or it's just like, you are all busy fighting each other, and you could just come together, and we didn't start the fire, and he's all quoted and all this stuff. <laughs> and, like, usually there's, like, a moment like that in an alien film where everyone's like, oh, my God, yeah, we can learn from this lesson. But they're like, honestly, they're just like, F you. Like, how dare you tell us, like, come in here and mess with our lives, and then tell us we're the jerks, and that we're yeah. doing things right. Like, let us... To our own devices. Like, who are you to come in here and tell us our lives are wrong? Yeah. And it, I loved that reaction because I was just like, it, it was going against, like, the norm. Of, yeah. Like, it's just like, no, you know, yeah, we all suck. And now we realize that and yeah. we're fine. And that was really cute. Um, <laughs> this is just like, what? Uh, yeah, I think it was surprising, right? Because there are, and I, I, I won't go all the way into them because I want to cover um, Attack uh, the Block a lot more, but there's a lot going on that's like about identity mm-hmm. when you think about the vampire girl and like this whole conversation about like virginity yeah. and like loss of that and like a loss of innocence. Mm-hmm. With that whole thing, there's um, racism, which is just, you know, talking about any different supernatural race that you have in the way that they're all treated differently. Uh, Capitalism with the riblets and uh, with Dennis Leary's character and how that happens. But also, like, classism, where you have Dennis Leary's character and then you have the um, zombie boy's family and how they're, like, the working class and how they're, like, you just have to work until you're dead, (laughs) right? And it's just, like, that's just how it works. Um, and, uh, And also, like, the family, it's about family as well. Yeah. And, like, you know, loving one another and d- despite flaws and coming together and mm-hmm. that, which was really beautiful. And it was, like, funny. It took poke fun at itself, and that was really fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. Uh, but now let's hop over to my actual favorite now. Uh, and, yeah, because, you know, Freaks of Nature is fun, but it's no attack block. Yeah. <laughs> right? And in, in, in that, uh, it, was a, it was a breath of fresh air. Because, like, we were just having fun, mm-hmm. and then we had just come back from things that are super serious, and we have this film that's, like, so leisurely on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, it, it purposeful uh, in, in the way that it kind of approaches really intense subjects. Mm-hmm. And they're, so, they're just, like, sprinkled in there, and some of the, like, the most beautiful and impactful things that are happening are happening when there's no aliens around. Yeah. And it's, like, phenomenal. Yeah, no, I totally <laughs> it's agree. It's, like, the coolest thing. So uh, in this film we have, like, uh, it starts out where our heroes, like our protagonists, are acting rather villainously. Mm-hmm. They are uh, stalking. Uh, it's just a group of children who are stalking and clearly making uncomfortable uh, the 13th Doctor. <laughs> so, oh, um, yeah. And And you can see, like, from her reaction and the way that she's, like, already kind of, like, predicting this, that uh, she, this is a common occurrence. Yeah. That this happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so they're trying to rob uh, uh, Jodie Whittaker, presumably okay. because uh, she hasn't figured out how her timey wimey doctor <laughs> powers have worked. Uh, so she's not there yet. She'll get there. Yeah, it's just Time. like an interesting dynamic to set immediately. Mm-hmm. That like the but you know right away that they're children. Yeah. Um, they then this like alien thing happens. This mm-hmm. alien crashes through the sky. It injures our main character and uh, Moses, played by uh, John Boyega. And then he, as like a young boy who's trying to prove himself, would mm-hmm. do, uh, goes to fight them. Yeah, he's trying to be cool. And so they go and they fight it and they injure it and um, they kill it. <laughs> they yeah. kill it. And then they're like gloating, bringing it around town, mm-hmm. uh, which is fine. That's just, like, a kid thing to do, right? <laughs> um, to an alien, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Ideally like, you Ideally not to, like, an animal. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. these kids, like, that was, like, a clearly, like, a Like, they were, like, going into, like, the girls and stuff. Like, like this yeah. cool thing we found. Yeah. We fought it. It's from space. Yeah. You know? Like, they... Well, look how and, tough we are. We've defeated the alien invasion. Yeah, and, like, um... 
there's like two younger kids, Probs and Mayhem, mm -hmm. who uh, they oh, make fun so of. Cute. They make fun of all the time, but they are just like essentially little like mimics and mm -hmm. they're walking around and they're trying to prove themselves to them as well and they're holding their own they're really cute yeah uh, but they end up going back to the to the block which is like this like lower income kind of area uh, -huh. uh this building uh and it turns out that the doctor also lives there um who's a nurse in this uh-huh we follow john uh boyega's character moses um and you he is the leader of this pack, and they're yeah. clearly following him. And you see that, like, he has been influenced by these adults in this area and has this perceived idea of, like, what he's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Like, one of the only times you see him smiling, like, a genuine smile, is when the drug dealer gives him, like, hard drugs to sell. Because now he's, like, escalated. Yeah, and he comes out and he's, like, you know, proud. And he's, like, peacocking a little about it, like, like yeah. bashfully, you know? And, uh... That's, like, the first and, like, really only time you see him smile. Yeah. Well, because he feels proud of himself. You yeah. Know, that he was able to, like, reach that level. Yeah. But that says, like, a lot. Like, that's, you know, very defining of this character already. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a kid who really values <laughs> literally just, like, uh, you know, selling drugs. Because that is a, st is a status. Well, yeah. And it's also, like, if you think about it, so, like, I work in after school programs where they say, like, if there is a place where after school programs don't exist, where kids can't build, like, a sense of community in, mm -hmm. like, a school or, like, a place where, like, they feel comfortable, they'll find places where they feel, like, people value them and, like, yeah. comfortable and then that they can build, like, camaraderie and, like, have a club. The mm -hmm. club is the situation he's in because yeah. there's not other options available because... No one funds schools and, and yeah. low income spaces like that. There's not enough money to yeah. give to programs that would be doing positive things. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like cults, right? It's like you're going to yeah. find someone who's going to understand you. Yeah. And, you when, need and if you do, no matter what, how bad it might look. Yeah. If the benefit is that you have a community and you have people who understand you and love you unconditionally, or yeah. at least to, to your perception then like yeah you're gonna go for that yeah and i mean it's just natural it's risk. human yeah yeah and i think like so we see you know these kids like are they're it's playful in the beginning right where yeah. they see the aliens start to come down like yeah we're gonna go get some more because well, they're very much kids they're just kids yeah. in this situation that have very real situations also going on yeah but we see all of the different like kids run in and getting like their odds and ends mm -hmm. like weapons like one kid has like a katana <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, and then sword. like other has fireworks and uh, -huh. uh they have just, like, all these odds and ends of things. And we never do see Moses' house during mm -hmm. that montage. We just see these kids. And there's, like, the one who's, like, always calling his mom because she's wondering where he is. Mm -hmm. and we saw the young girls and stuff. And I think what's really powerful in the, is the scenes where Moses is confronting the realities of the situation. And mm -hmm. if you took out, like aliens as yeah. the prompt it becomes very real yeah. right like when he has this whole conversation uh where they're hiding out where the girls are mm -hmm. and there's um what is her name uh, tia mm -hmm. who's like honestly one of the most intelligent characters in this film mm -hmm. and was like super down to earth like yeah. the one girl was like they ain't coming here blah blah, blah. she's like this is my house so yeah. I'm gonna let him in, right? Yeah. And she's very mature for her age, and I really wish there was more of her, and that yeah. she wasn't just this like little. But she was a fantastic plot device. character for sure. Wonderful. And so, like, there's this whole scene where they're like holed up together, and as his like friends are, you know, like sitting around together, it, uh -huh. it's revealed that they had robbed uh, the doctor because she's there with them, and T is like very, very disappointed, and mm -hmm. it's just very much like, oh, are you serious? Like, that's where you, I knew you would end up this way, right? And it's, like, this, and you can tell it, like, gets to Moses, yeah. like, immediately. Because well, like he it, cares what she thinks. Yeah, and yeah. also, like, he just cares about his life, right? Yeah. And, and And if people that he cares about perceive him that way, because he's surrounded by his, like, lackeys, right? Who are yeah. always like, yeah, man, oh my God, like, of course, like, tr uh, trust, yeah. trust, bro, uh, <laughs> and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just like a really influenceable age too. Like you want you care what people think at that age. Like 
-hmm. You want to be cool. Yeah. And it's hard to please everybody. Yeah. In that situation. It's like you want her to think you're cool. But but you you also want your friends to think you're cool. And that's, yeah. It's tough. And there is like, so after this moment, there is a lot of like where his his friends are kind of like dropping like flies at this point. They are dying. And she essentially is just like, it is your fault. Like, you came here and now they're dead. Like, it is your, you did it. Like, you showed us that thing you killed earlier and now people are dead. And they're oh. only coming after you. And it's like this this moment of realization. And when you think about it, like, if we just took, like, him going in selling drugs, right? Like, he's taking them kids with him. Like, yeah. they're following him. They were there with him to rob. They're there to put them up. So if he got into that scene, those kids are in that scene. Yeah. You know? So it is essentially, like, he would, like, if, if we yeah. take aliens out of the situation, he got them kids killed. Right? Yeah, from, from them, like, like real following life, him. Right? Yeah. And so it is this time where you see that. But there's a lot of times where we're seeing how young he is, too. Yeah. Like, one of the best scenes for that is... Um, where he's trying to, like, apologize in the best way he knows how, where he says to, uh, her name is Sam. <laughs> I'm just going to keep calling her the doctor. Uh, and she, he says to her, um, if we, like, if we knew you lived here, like, we wouldn't have robbed you, right? Yeah. And it's essentially saying, like, we don't rob our own, yeah. right? Like, they only go after those that they think can afford to right yeah. like they have so much they, they don't need this stuff we do Robin so it's Hood justified mentality, yeah. essentially right it's justified and she's like okay so if i live somewhere else it's okay that you rob me like she has this like snarky like not snarky yeah. but like honest response right yeah. and uh the friends uh man what is his name it's like a weird <laughs> it's a weird name uh but his friend essentially says to him or says to her like can you see he's trying to apologize? Yeah. Like, just blatantly, like, to her. Um, and she's just, like, kind of, like, looks at him for a minute. And I feel like it's, like, it, it's a moment where she sees that he is young. Right? Because, uh, and the friend's name is Pest, I found it. Uh, that Pest is just, like, that's his best way this kid knows how to do it. Like, yeah. he's honestly trying. This is, like, where his, like, his heart is in it. And yeah. he just, like, doesn't fully get what was wrong. Because this is, like, his reality. And then there's, like, the the even more impactful scene is um, where she goes down to, uh, like, l- start the gas. Mm-hmm. And she's in his apartment. And she keeps asking, like, is anyone going to be here? And he's like, no. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, well, where's the parents? Or where's your chaperones? Like, where's yeah. that? And so she's in there. And then she sees, like, a bedroom that has, like, children's blankets. Yeah. And so she's like, do you have a younger brother? And he's like, no. And then she's like, how old are you? Yeah. And he says, 15. And it's like this moment for her of just like, this is a kid. And this is all like, he's obviously living in this place. He has an uncle who comes and goes, mostly goes, right? Yeah. And he, this is all he has. And he's having this really brave and like sacrificial moment where he's giving up everything to like make right the wrongs. Uh-huh. E- even though like, you know, it's a little too little too late. People have lost their lives from it, but he's yeah. finally like turning back. And it's like it is really, really emotional. And and on top of that, just the aliens themselves, right, are really fun. They're just like these uh gorilla things that have no eyes and you just see their teeth. Yeah, they're glowing that are blue, teeth. Which are really cool. But like, um, there's this really, really, really impactful line, which just, like, summarizes, like, what is actually happening, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Like, what it, the metaphor is, it's, like, handed right to you. Yeah. And it's literally uh, something that Moses says. So, because, uh, like, when you think about it, these aliens are coming in, they're harming them because of an action he took, yeah. right? And so it's just, like, clearly law enforcement is, um, like present present in there but also like the government and other ways that we've used to suppress certain peoples so he says uh no i reckon yeah uh i reckon the feds sent them anyway government probably bred those things to kill black boys first they sent in drugs then they sent guns and now they're sending monsters in to kill us they don't care man we ain't killing each other fast enough so they decided to speed up the process yeah I and this is a 15 year old boy yeah who's like no 
yeah, this is the war on drugs. This yeah. is like, you know, like, no, yeah, I can put it, it past them that it would, like, they find out it's like some about pheromones and stuff. But honestly, yeah, it could have been. Like, because no one's coming to help. The cops are there. The cops are a presence throughout the entire thing, but are never there. Like, they're yeah. just this, like, they're more, like, looming and dangerous than the the aliens a lot of the time. Because they're, yeah. like, they're, pro- like, prohibiting them from leaving mm-hmm. because it's, like, okay, they're, like, and to the point where they're, like, I'd rather fight these aliens than have to go and fight that cop. Well, yeah, and there's a lot of moments where the doctor... Yeah, uh, has these moments of like privilege. Yeah, or, like you already named one, but the other one, she's like, uh, "We'll call the police and we'll get you to the hospital." And they're like, "Absolutely not! Like they're yeah. not gonna do anything positive." And it's like, and also just I feel like her not understanding that he was trying to say sorry or that like they are children, yeah. like just really seeing them as thugs yeah. essentially who had tried to rob her. Just like yeah. really, she was very great at showing like the privileged and even when she is in the same housing unit yeah. and how she is just not on the same page. Yeah. She's still better than those boys. Yeah. Cause she didn't live there her whole life either. Yeah. And she's not impressionable. And yeah. And like, there's like her, when her, she goes to see her friend and they're like, you need to call the cops. And she's like, they're monsters. And it's like, it's funny. Cause it's like, we're going to be weird put into face to face with real monsters. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, look, that's a monster or the guy who tried to shoot us. Because he thought we, like, stole his drugs. That's a monster. Like, we're just kids. Yeah. And I think, like, yeah, I think her seeing them for what they were was a really great... Like, having her there was really awesome to, to kind of see that that yeah. parallel and to see the growth from all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was so much more than what it was. And I, I really, really loved it so much. And there's just, like, that beautiful... Like, there's that scene where they're, like, they're arrested, right? And you're just, like, of course. Yeah. Right? Like, but... They're cheering his name, and he he finally smiles again. Yeah. Right? He's getting that recognition, but this time it's, like, because he is a hero this time. Yeah, he did something positive. He really did it. And so he can smile, and this time we can be, like, happy that he smiled. And it's so genuine. And it's, like, you can tell it's, like, from a kid who doesn't ever get to do that. Yeah. And it it was beautiful. Um, Yeah. Yeah, all I'm saying is trust, bro. Yeah. Trust, bro. Yeah. Allow it. Allow it. That's what he said. Yeah. It was so cool. <laughs> it's like, it's so fun. I love that they were like, like cool kids. <laughs> like no, cool they were great. I th- it was a very fun time. I was, I just like happened to be watching it with you. Like it wasn't even for the yeah, podcast. I and then we were just like, oh, wow. Look this at that. Look at Fitz. Though. Yeah. So if it fits I'm and glad sits. we watch it. We sits. Mm-hmm. So, if you like it, it's trust, bruv. Trust. Trust. Yeah. Allow so, they say it all. Allow it. Uh, he's <laughs> not uh, And then, uh, if you don't like it, it's uh, an alien, a vampire, and a zombie walk into a bar. Yeah. And that's Freaks of Nature in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, for the topic of, like, aliens and them coming down here and us loving them. Trust, bro. Trust also, bro. shirtless Jeff Goldblum. Thank yeah. you, Jeff. Like, 100%. You, yeah, if they look like that, bring them. If they look like me. Yeah, oh, bring them. No. <laughs> bring them anyway. Yeah. That's fun. I think as long as, I'm like, one... Sparkly. As so. long as they don't, like, attack us. And then as long as, by them not attacking us, we decide we're the stronger one and then we enslave them or put them in concentration camps like District 9 type... No. As long as we're not doing either of those things. Oh, we're things. not doing... I was like, whoa, No, I Gabe. don't want to do that. Wow. <laughs> no. I'm that saying. took such a dark turn. I was like, do we need to move out? I don't understand <laughs> no. who you I'm are saying, anymore. We're not doing that. Okay, good. As long as that is not happening. Well, it's like then 100% I'm yes, aliens, please. If people can just like... If we band together and then we're like, we're all humans. And also, Oof, friends. Chills. Alien chills. Alien just, uh, we got friends, and then it's good. Yeah, I mean, in all my research, a lot of people think they're going to be friendly. Mm-hmm. Like, people believe in aliens, and yeah. they also think, like, if it happens, they'll be like, oh, nice. Well, it's like, they're going to come friends. all this way, 
I feel like it would be nice. I mean, I get the whole, like, they're out of a resource, so they come all this way to get a resource. Or, yeah, like, there's but I still a don't dangerous see them alien race it. who, like, doesn't have empathy, and no, they yeah. just destroy planets for fun. Like, I, I could see either of those scenarios. Show me what you got. And then we all have to dance. Make music and yeah. dance. Um, but, yeah, I definitely... Shifty. 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 Yeah. 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 I, I definitely see it being, like... Or I don't know. I don't know if we'll even be able to communicate with them. I think ultimately, yeah. Like what? Are the, like what even are they? Are they going to be like the gaseous? We don't have a Rosetta Stone of what alien. if they're the gaseous thing where it's yeah. Morty? Yeah, has that thing going? Yeah, on. Yeah, it's fat. Yeah, that that's what. Fat. It is. Yeah. Fat. What if it's fat? Uh, we don't that's know. Fine. He was cool. I mean, he was kind of evil, but he was also cool. Yeah, it's like we don't know what it's going to be, or what it already is. Like, there's no way. And also, I don't think we're, like, close. Yeah. I don't know if we'll see it in our lifetime. Like, actually, like, talking to them. Yeah, I think, if stuff. anything, maybe the next generation will get to Star experience Trek. this thing. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be in ours. Space 4. <laughs> like, we're just not even close. We're, like, we're making a lot of strides, but I don't see us going to actually space, doing. like, in a real big way. Yeah. Anytime soon. So. Yeah, I feel that. Um, what about the films? They were fun. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy uh, them. Allow it. Allow it. Uh, yeah. I have a bunch of new favorites now. Yeah. It was really fun. Like, it was different a fun favorites, time. too. They were all so different that yeah. I was just like, you know, I, really I feel like we just... walked our way into, like, the serious. Like, I feel like if we had started with Attack the Block, then we might have been like, Ugh. like, I mean, we would still enjoy it. Yeah. But I feel like we'd be like, oh, we're doing it again. We're getting serious, but we because definitely would have we started approached this differently. Yeah, yeah. But starting with Earth Girls are easy. We were like, it's fun. Yeah, dancing. It's fun. They still look hard. I don't want to drive it. <laughs> she's so dumb, and I love it. Where she like pops oh, out of the closet, and she's like dressed all in her lingerie to like flirt with him, and she lands on the girl that he's in there to cheat with, and she's like, oh my god, are you like Ted's friend? Like, I'm sorry, I'm not usually dressed like this. And then he's like, all oh, right. And it was like, oh my god, she's so dumb. <laughs> it was great. It was so entertaining for her to be dumb, too, because usually yeah. she's like a, like a reasonable character. So oh, was she's been, she was just fantastical all around. <laughs> it was, the whole thing is fantastical. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely one of my like favorite cheesy things. And Freaks of Nature was pleasant. I enjoyed she, it. She had a good time. Mm hmm. But Attack the Block is now like a top Saturday, Sunday, 10. whenever we watched it. Like, yeah. Yeah. And top to t top ten for Attack the Block. Yeah. Out of like horror movies, I think that's gonna go up there. Oh, yeah. you know, it was really, it was good. Yeah. It was saying a lot with and like. And it did it without being like here and like shoving it in your face yeah. kind of thing. It was just like, uh, oh my god, this is so fun. Also, like, did you think about how gentrification affects the youth? And it's just yeah. like also shooting up aliens and like cute, funny like kids talking, and you got you know probs and mayhem shooting them with gasoline, and then it's like yeah. also like think about the kids selling drugs, and you're like, oh my god. No, there was wonderful. just, like, a lot of, like, political commentary that was yeah. going down, and it was a fantastic time. Yeah. I, I can't believe it was from 2011. Yeah. It's dope. Like, it was saying a lot of stuff that we're dealing mm -hmm. with now. Yeah. Then. It was mentioned in uh, Black Noir, the mm -hmm. documentary that we watched, and I, yeah. since then, I was like, oh, what is that? Is that John Viega? What's up? And then, you know, my boyfriend also loved the movie, so I was like, all right, I'll watch a movie because you love it. And then I was like, I love it. Yeah, it was, it was really good. It was saying a lot. Yeah. Well, I feel like we've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of fun. And this is the end of our, like, 2020 future type kind of series as, as far as, like, technology and romance. And we're starting a new series next week uh, for next month. And it's going to be... It's going to be intense again. So yeah. get ready for us to educate you and be a little upset. We had to have this fun, goofy one in the middle. Which, honestly, I mean, we're pretty tired, so... We just look cool um, in the middle. Yeah. Before we get real serious times again. Yeah. We and then we'll, break, we'll have as goofy they as, as sometime, at some yeah. point. But uh, like for our 100th episode, it's coming up. Uh, after this intense period, we will have a fun one. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't get married. They'll eat your kids, or your kids will be alien babies. Or your kids fight aliens. Romance. Oh.